morning, good morning. Welcome on into North Dakota today. So glad you could join us. My name is Ashlyn Hill. And I'm Sophia Richards. Happy Mardi Gras! Ding, 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 ding. Yes, we are this annoying walking through the station. Yes, we've you been can... jingling and jangling yep. all morning, yep. our beads. Because <laughs> we're pretending we're on Bourbon Street celebrating. Of course. It yeah. is Mardi Gras. It is Fat Tuesday. Mardi Gras translating exactly to Fat Tuesday. So you can't help but throw on some beads, grab a little tambourine, and do a little dance and jig. You know, we can't be in Party of one. Louisiana, Mardi Party but of we one. can bring it here. <laughs> Okay, well, we are celebrating here, but nationally across the U.S. You might have already seen stuff online. Massive celebrations with parades, street parties, masked balls, other huge events all happening in New Orleans and Mobile, Alabama. Also, big celebrations held internationally in Venice and even Rio de Janeiro and what's called Carnival. So everybody is celebrating. I think we have some footage too. So Fat Tuesday always lands 47 days before Easter and one day ahead of Ash Wednesday, which is also Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And then Lent begins, but Mardi Gras translates again directly to Fat Tuesday and the official colors we are donning today are purple, green, and gold. I told Soph we're basically Saints fans this morning. Basically, yeah. Who I wore my purple on purpose, I remember. I love it. Thank it's you. perfect. Um, <laughs> and the very first New Orleans Mardi Gras parade on record, you guys, was held in 1838. Wow. Here's what's funny. This is an incredibly fun fact. By law, everyone on a New Orleans Mardi Gras parade float must wear a mask. I didn't know that. Me either. That's crazy. Yeah, here we go. Here's a look at the action. Kings, queens, <laughs> you got it. You name it. It's happening there. Trumpets, bands, crews. There's a Dolly Parton crew. What? Uh-huh. All kinds of stuff. I actually have a colleague who's from Louisiana who mm -hmm. is at Mardi Gras right now in real time. Yep. I've been stalking him on social media. <laughs> and even in like the local neighborhoods where he's at, it looks just like this. I love that. Yeah. Bucket list. Uh-huh. And the most popular Mardi Gras dessert, you guys, is king cake. Remember Bread Smith on last week with mm -hmm. some king cake? Well, we also have another popular dessert coming on today. We're mm -hmm. talking about poonchkies. Yep. They're spelled not like that, mm -hmm. but they're pronounced like that. It's all going to make sense. But See, in Michigan, yep. poonchkies are a really big deal today, specifically on Fat Tuesday. I didn't know what that was until you brought it up. And then, you know, we're so lucky to have Sandy's on to show uh -huh. us a little demonstration yeah. for those of us who didn't know, like right. me. So I'm so excited. Yes, Polish cuisine and celebration all in honor of Mardi Gras. And it's spelled so not like it sounds. It's yep. P-A-C-Z-K-I, but it's pronounced poonchki. I don't make the rules. Yeah. I don't make the rules. We just enforce them. Yeah. <laughs> We're just happy to oblige <laughs> and, of course, taste test and, of course, you know, show what needs to be done. Um, but we're looking forward to that. Every year in Michigan, when I was working there, we would cover this big Polish Polka Palooza Punchki Festival. Okay. And yes, I would have to say that like 10 times I was going to say, fast. I'm like, I'm trying to process this still. <laughs> every morning I would be there live, every Fat Tuesday morning, and I'm like, hi everybody, welcome to the Polish Polka Palooza Puczki, <laughs> you know, the whole thing. Yep. And it was the time of my life, and there was like a live polka band, polka dancing, and then of course Puczki, just trays and trays and trays. Deep fried dough, powdered sugar filled with your favorite flavoring essentially. Yep. Love a good cherry or raspberry, but they make all kinds, lemon, chocolate, they even make prune. Ooh. Whatever you're into, there's a flavor for you. I'm so excited. You're making me hungry. Actually. I know. It's perfect. I'm so excited. I'm excited, too. It's perfect for a little breakfast, for a little pick-me-up, and the perfect excuse. It's Fat Tuesday if you need to go order your own. Mm -hmm. Of course. Love and it. I'll follow it by a little tambourine <laughs> celebration. Okay, so Mardi Gras, not the only thing we are celebrating. Hot off the press this morning. Yes. So what is going on here locally? So there is a big announcement we saw this morning in yes. our newsroom from the Red River Valley Fair. Woo. Young Gravy is hitting the <laughs> Titan Machinery stage on Friday, July 5th. And who doesn't love him? I mean, come on. Well, for those of you who have no idea who he is, I could understand why. Yes. Did, isn't he TikTok famous? Didn't he become famous because of TikTok? I think, yeah, that's where okay. his music kind of got some traction was 
was because it had gone so viral on TikTok, but he is like a Billboard Top 100 yeah. artist. I mean, he has really worked himself up. Uh -huh. um, he is kind of known for having a goofy personality. Yeah, is he um, a rapper technically? <laughs> yeah, is that I his think genre? He's a rapper, singer, but he remixes a lot of old oh, okay. songs and uses them as samples. So okay, I, love that. I think that'll be a big hit with maybe the younger crowd. Oh yeah, Gen Z coming in full force. Mm -hmm. But the moms love him too. You know, if you know, you know. <laughs> Um, so this should be a really fun one, but other headliners that have been announced are Blake Shelton and the Goo Goo Dolls, you guys. Okay, and I said, I made this joke in the newsroom, I said all three of my personalities yep, coming together. there we together. go, there we go. I love this. Are we ready to cry over the Goo Goo Dolls together? And I'd give up forever uh, to touch you. I'm, a tear will be going down my cheek. I'm ready, maybe they need a tambourine. So why don't you slide? That's the one I know. I actually know a lot more. I just don't know the titles. You should get up there with Black them balloon. and do the tambourine. Maybe they need me. Yeah. Maybe this is an audition right now. You've been kind of working that thing. <laughs> I mean, I love it. It's really, you're good at it. I Do we create our own theme song where there is now tambourine necessary? I think so. This is like your hidden talent. I love Going it. Going solo. <laughs> Don't you worry. There's more musical guests happening today <laughs> that don't require myself or the tambourine. I just had to get all the excitement out during yep. the intro. Mm -hmm. No, I am excited. It's good to be back. Um, just really quickly, a big win for the Swifties. Yeah. You know I had to talk about I it. I know you did, yep. I was off yesterday so I could stay up late to watch the game and I was not disappointed. If my mm -hmm. Lions couldn't make it, at least my Swifties did. And that's <laughs> all I got to say. We went out. We went out. What? what I mean, an OT? Mm -hmm. Come on now. Come on, I know, the hater's gonna hate, and I love it. The hater's gonna hate, 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 hate. <laughs> uh, it's, it's good though, we'll move on, we'll move on. Mm -hmm. We don't have to talk about it anymore, and everyone can find something else to hate in the meantime. But Swift is getting that Super Bowl ring, just saying. I love it. <laughs> and, our, and, and what about timing, just right there. Our producer says, okay, wrap when you guys want. So yes. I'll take the cue. We have an incredible show coming up for you guys. You're not gonna wanna miss this. We have beautiful things getting set up in the studio right now. We're transforming the studio into a storefront, it looks like. All the details up next right here after the break on North Dakota Today.